ladies and family welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is vanessa so in today's video i'll be trying out some new ill maquillage goodies well they're not new but they're new to me so if you guys want to see how to get this look and if you guys want to see these products and hear my thoughts on them make sure you keep on watching so today we do have an ill maquillage haul but before i get into this haul i do want to mention that in the description box i have a link where you can um get educated and see ways that you can help the black lives matter movement so yeah i'm gonna first of all i'm gonna tell you guys how i even got these products this video is not sponsored okay i wish it was um <laughs> So I applied for a job for at Il Maquillage like months ago. I honestly forgot about it. And they emailed me, let me know I ain't get the job. I was like, okay. But then at the bottom of the, the email, they were like, oh, but you know, here's a $200 gift card. I was like, what? <laughs> I was shook it. So um, I went on the website and I grabbed so many goodies that I cannot wait to try. I'm gonna be trying them out for the first time with y'all today. And I figured that what I would do is um, I would just show them as I go, like depending on what step I'm gonna use them in. I don't know if that made sense, but yeah. Also, I do wanna mention that if you guys like any of the products in today's video, I know that Il Maquillage has this um, offer where you can try the items before you buy them. So they'll, they'll send you with a full size product to your house for free. All you gotta do is pay for shipping and you get to try it, I think for like 14 days or something like that. And um, if you end up liking it, all you gotta do is pay the remaining amount. So yeah, uh, if you go on their website, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure that'll there'll be more information than what I just provided. I've never tried the try before you buy, um, but I just wanted to let you guys know. The only things that I've ever tried from El Maquillage before were the um, Carly Bible and um, their Carly Bible collab lip set, and I absolutely love that lip set. I'm so sad that um, it's no longer available um, because it was so good. I'm running out of it, it was like a lip liner a gloss and a lipstick i'm running out of the lip liners so i'm sad but we do have a new lip liner today to try out spoiler alert um el maquillage is so bougie you guys like this is the fanciest box ever inside it says untraditional uncompromising undeniably extra sounds like me on a good day <laughs> today is not one of those good days i do apologize i am not feeling well um i feel like i say that a lot i don't know i just i'm dealing with a lot um and i woke up really swollen today like everything like my hands um my face my under eyes i'm just very puffy i think it's because i ate really salty yesterday but you know i didn't the food didn't even taste salty so i don't i don't know and I drink a lot of water, so I know that's not it. But I know you guys don't care about that. Um, you guys are here for the good stuff. And to start off this haul, I got a foundation. Isn't this the bougiest thing you've ever seen? Like, I am in love with this packaging. It's literally the coolest thing that I have ever seen. And then when you open it, insert angel singing here. <laughs> it's like the foundation is on a pedestal i love it so this is the il maquillage woke up like this flawless base foundation you get one fluid ounce like the standard foundation um i'm gonna read you guys some info on it so it says that this foundation smoothens and evens the skin, minimizes the appearance of shadows and pores, enhances the complexion and creates a flawless natural matte finish. The cutting edge formula offers a unique combination of medium to high coverage and a super comfortable weightless feeling. Its ultra fluid and easy to blend texture applies effortlessly and enables a buildable coverage to suit all needs for long lasting wear paired with primer or setting powder. How to use apply to skin using a sponge or foundation brush shake well before you use i'm so excited that we're going to be trying out a foundation today because i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm breaking out pretty bad i think it looks it doesn't look that bad on camera in person it's pretty bad and that has me feeling very insecure so i'm hoping that this will cover all those imperfections today when it comes to the bottle this is what the foundation actually looks like i love the packaging it's very heavy i love frosted um glass foundation bottles 
and it does come with a pump. Il Maquillage has a whole quiz that you can take on their site to figure out your foundation shade. Um, and the quiz is actually pretty cool. I liked it, but I knew it was off. I just knew it. So I got the shade 125, but when I got when I took the quiz, they recommended I use the shade 155. I was like, well, let's see, you know, let's go on YouTube. And I was looking up videos of the shade 155 and it, it was too deep for me. Um, and I kept trying to find videos of people that looked like me. And I kid you not, it was the hardest thing in the world. <laughs> I found two videos, literally two videos of people who had this shade, who looked sort of, they didn't even look similar to my skin tone, honestly. <laughs> but I was like, I'm gonna take a wild guess and go with this one. That's actually one of the reasons I started my YouTube channel because I feel like I would come on here and I never saw people that looked like me and that was so annoying. Like, I was like, damn, like, I need help, but, like, y'all can't help me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I will put on the description box some of my other shades in case we're shade twins. Oh, I do have to say, spoiler alert, I also got a concealer. In both the concealer and the foundation, when I swatched them, they oxidize. Um, but I'm still a little concerned. I want to know if this is really going to match me perfectly. I feel like it's an okay match from what I saw when I swatched it, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see what she actually looks like. So I primed off camera with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, that is why I look a little ghostly. So I'm gonna go in with one pump, simply because that's just what I usually use, but if we need more, we'll add more. So I'm gonna be applying this with my Sonia Keshek sponge. I know she look hella dirty, but I've literally only used this like three times. I got a question while we're on this subject. How many times do you use your beauty sponge before you wash it? Okay, so I'm not gonna ask you what you guys think about the shade just yet because we gotta wait for it to dry down so we can see the true color. But so far I can say that this is more of like a medium coverage than full because all this nastiness is still peeking through. Okay, so that one pump is technically gone just on this side. Um, but I don't, I don't want to say that the, the coverage of the foundation is bad. It's just that today in particular, I need more coverage because as you guys can see, I am breaking out. Um, but usually... I really don't use that much foundation because my skin usually looks fine but I don't want to keep adding any more foundation just just for preference like I don't want to have a lot of foundation on um but I would say I did get it to like a true medium coverage it does look very nice blurred it's not accentuating any texture or anything like that so yeah so far it looks nice the problem is my skin <laughs> What do you guys think about the color? I feel like it's toning down a little. Okay, so I have the foundation all over my face. The only side that I feel like is fully dry is this side, so I guess this is the true shade. Um, I do feel like my face looks lighter on camera than it does in person. I don't know. Um, but I could get away with one going one shade darker. This, what do you guys think actually? This is a side that has the true shade because it's already dry, and this is the side that is still drying. I don't know, it doesn't look too bad, but um, based on how the foundation actually looks, I think the foundation looks great, my skin looks very nice. This isn't really that matte. Like, I feel like it's matte, but it doesn't look dry. Like, it still has a little bit of glow. It looks very skin-like. The only thing I really don't like is the amount of coverage. I feel like it's a very, like it's medium, but it's a very light medium. Maybe it's just my skin, but the foundation does look nice. And now let's move on to the concealer. This is what the concealer looks like. I love this packaging. I think it looks really cool. It looks like a lipstick or like a mascara. It's pretty big for a concealer, but I think it's very neat. Um, so you can see the shade in here. The shade is most definitely too light, 
but again she does oxidize a little bit darker um this is the shade number eight i took the quiz that they had on their website for um this as well and they actually recommended i use the shade nine but they were sold out so i was like whatever let's go with eight this concealer comes in 30 shades i forgot to mention the foundation comes in 50 shades and that's awesome um so this concealer instantly reduces the appearance of under eye circles dark spots discolorations and blemishes it's comfortable lightweight long lasting wear with medium to high buildable coverage so what I want to try is to see just how much this um, concealer covers up is I want to color correct one of my eyes. So I'm going to col color correct this one and not this one. And this one is actually the dark circle that looks the worst today. So yeah, I'm going to color collect, color collect, color correct real quick off camera and then we're going to be applying this baby. All right, so I color corrected this eye and I wanted to show you guys the wand right off the bat. I can tell you I don't like the wand. It's too little. It looks like um like a lipstick wand, but like the old school lipstick wands. You know how now like brands are a little more innovative. Um, I also don't like how strong the stopper is, like there is so much, it takes off so much product. Concealer is actually blending out really nicely, I like how it looks, um, but I am gonna add more because it's looking very light coverage right now. And like you can even still see some of the color character. So yeah, I'm gonna add some more. Okay, so this is what the concealer looks like blended out. Personally, I like both sides. I do prefer the color corrected side, however, simply because the color corrector um, just took away some of that darkness that I had underneath there. But the concealer looks very nice. I forgot to mention both the concealer and the foundation have a light consistency, so they do feel lightweight. The thing again um, with the concealer is like with the same as the foundation. They're, the coverage is very light, even though they both say they're more medium to full. So you just have to build it up, but it doesn't look cakey when you build it up either. Um, so far, so good. Both of these products look really nice. Okay, so I forgot to mention that the name of this concealer is um fuck i'm flawless <laughs> um because el maquillage does have another concealer but i think that one's called the best friend concealer or something like that i don't know um i did set my face off camera um so i set my under eyes with the huda beauty setting powder in the shade pound cake and then the rest of my face with the anastasia beverly hills banana setting powder so i look a little ghostly um but i'm gonna contour off camera and then i'll be back okay, so i'm in the middle of contouring my nose but i came back because i forgot to say that my face looks absolutely flawless um my under eyes and my face look super airbrushed so it's looking good so far all right so for our next ale maquillage product we're going to be using blush we're using their mineralized mineral baked blush <laughs> um this is so cute it says cheeky af on here so this is what it looks like it looks like a titty <laughs> um this is the shade vogue it's such a gorgeous like dusty rose and it smells like it smells like the airspun powder but less strong i forgot to mention the um foundation does have a smell it smells like a cleaning product but not super strong but i like that smell <laughs> i don't remember if the concealer had a smell i don't feel like smelling it now but i really like the way this smells um so yeah we're gonna be applying this now So this is what the blush look like. It's very pigmented. It has like a satiny finish. It's a gorgeous shade and it applied beautifully. I don't know how I feel about these lashes, but let's move on to lips. We have quite a few items. So we have a lip liner that is brown, which we're definitely gonna be using, <laughs> which we're definitely gonna be using today. We have a matte lipstick, which we're also gonna be using today. This is the shade Flirt. And I love this packaging. It's like glass, it's heavy, it's bougie. I love it. And we have two glosses, but we're only gonna be using one of them. So this is the one we're using today. It's called Toffee. It's like a bronzy kind of um, lip gloss. And this one, the one we're not using today is actually my favorite. This is the shade Nude. Look at her. Like, this is so me.
I forgot to mention this is the Natural Moisturizing Lip Liner in the shade Brown. And um, it definitely is moisturizing. It really glided on very smoothly and very fast. Um, I can also say that about the lipstick and the glosses because I did try them on my lips the other day. They're both very comfortable on the lips and um, they just feel moisturizing. They don't feel like dry or anything. This is such a gorgeous shade. Um, I definitely, if I hadn't been trying like ill maquillage things today, I would have used a more pinky lip color for this eyeshadow. But this lipstick is just, oh, this color is gorgeous. Wow, you guys, I'm in love with the way this gloss looks. Like, it's so freaking glossy. It's not even funny. I feel like you could, like, you could see your reflection on my lips. That's how glossy they are. <laughs> you know I love me a gloss, so the glossier the better. This is just... I love it. So yeah, that is it for the Ill Maquillage products that I have with me today. I really enjoyed everything. Honestly, I don't have any complaints. Like, I feel like my skin looks unbelievable it looks amazing i love it i'm really 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 liking both the foundation and concealer i look great <laughs> um the blush is also beautiful i love the formula and the shade and y'all know i'm definitely feeling the lips i loved everything so yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe turn your post notifications follow me on instagram and tiktok and i'll see you guys next time